عزیز طلبہ السلام علیکم لیکچر نمبر نائن لے کر ڈاکٹر محمد تجمل چکتائی حاضر ہے پچھلے لیکچر میں ہم نے کرک آفز کرن لا سے متعلق مختلف چھوٹے چھوٹے سرکٹس کا ایکویشن لکھنا سیکھا تھا آج کے لیکچر میں ہم تھوڑے سے پیچیدہ سرکٹس لے کر ان میں مختلف نورز پہ وولٹیج ڈیفرنس یا پھر اس کی مختلف برانچز میں سے کرنٹ کے فلو کو کیلکولیٹ کریں گے اس سلسلے میں کچھ ایگزامپلز آپ کے لیے سیٹ کی گئی ہیں آئیے سلائیڈ پر دیکھتے ہیں شون ایگزامپل اس کمپرائزنگ ٹو کرنٹ سورسز فرسٹ آف آل وی ویل لک فار دا نمبر آف نوٹس کیئرفلی which are possible for this circuit. So we can see clearly that there are three nodes. Now, as our practice, we can take one node as a reference node. Therefore, we are left with two nodes. Now, our task is to calculate the voltage at these two nodes. First of all, we start by designating two numbers to these two nodes, node number one and node number two. Now, because we want to calculate the voltage difference at these two nodes, therefore, for our convenience, we give those voltages the names as V1, and V2 as it is shown in this slide. Now, first of all, we consider node 1. Applying Ohm's law, we can write the current equation in terms of voltage and resistance because we have been given the resistance values into this network. Is may up دیکھ رہے ہوں گے کہ ریزسٹنس کی ویلیوز کو دیا گیا ہے جبکہ کرنٹ کی ویلیوز انون ہیں لہٰذا اس کے بجائے کہ ہم کرنٹ کی ایکویشن لکھیں ہم اسی ایکویشن کو وولٹیج اور ریزسٹنس کی ٹرمز میں لکھیں گے اوم سلا کو اگر آپ دہرائیں تو we have written V is equal to I R. Ab I ko agar ek taraf leye jayen, to I is equal to V over R. Therefore, we have written the equation for node 1 in terms of V over R. At node 1, V1 minus V2 divided by 6K plus V1 divided by 3K is equal to 2 milli amperes. This equation may V1 minus V2 likha gaya hai. V1 minus V2 is liye likha gaya hai ke node 1 ko unke dharmayan, dono nodes ke dharmayan, jo resistance hai, usme se current wo bhi effect karega. Lihaza, is resistance ke jis ki value 6 kilo ohm hai, اس کا ایفیکٹ نوڈ نمبر ون پہ کیونکہ ہو رہا ہے اس لیے ہم اس کے دونوں طرف کی وولٹیج کا ڈیفرنس یعنی کہ پوٹینشل ڈیفرنس کو کنسیڈر کریں گے اور اس میں سے پاس ہونے والے کرنٹ کے ایفیکٹ کو نوڈ ون پہ اس طرح سے لیا جائے گا جیسا کہ ایکویشن میں لکھا گیا ہے وی ون مائنس وی ٹو ڈیوائیڈ بائی سکس کے پلس V1 divided by 3K is equal to 2 milli amperes or V1 minus V2 plus 2V1 is equal to 6K into 2 milli amperes or we can write minus V2 plus 3V1 is equal to 12 or further simplifying we can write 9V1 minus 3V2 
is equal to 36. Last equation में हमने पूरी equation को 3 के digits से multiply कर दिया है ताके जब हम node 2 की equation को derive कर लेंगे तो इन दोनों nodes की equations को add up करते हुए एक variable को cancel out करना possible हो जाए आइए अब node number 2 की equation को देखते हैं at node number 2 we can see that current source 4 milliampere is leaving the node so the equation we can write as v2 divided by 12k plus 4 milliampere plus v2 minus v1 divided by 6k ye zehen mein rakhiye ke jo unknown currents hain unko humne node ko leave karte hue consider kiya hai aaiye slide par mazid dekhte hain v2 plus 48 plus 2v2 minus 2v1 is equal to 0 or we can write 3v2 minus 2v1 is equal to minus 48. Now, we can add these two equations so that we get rid of one variable v2. Zaruri nahi hai ki aap pehle v2 se chutkara hasil kare. Apni equations ko suitable multiplier se arrange karne ke baad aap pehle v1 se chutkara bhi hasil kar sakte hain. Is tarah se जो वैल्यू भी एक वेरिएबल की निकलेगी उसको हम पिछली इक्वेशन में पुट अप करके दूसरे वेरिएबल की वैल्यू को कैलकुलेट करने की कोशिश करते हैं सो वी नॉक आउट 3v2 फ्रॉम बोथ द इक्वेशंस बिकॉज़ इन वन इक्वेशन इट्स अ पॉजिटिव क्वांटिटी एंड इन द अदर इक्वेशन इट्स अ नेगेटिव क्वांटिटी एंड वी आर लेफ्ट विद v1 is equal to minus 12 divided by 7. Therefore, we can write v2 is equal to 3v1 minus 12. Or we can put up the value of v1 in here so that we get v2 is equal to 3 into minus 12 by 7 minus 12. Therefore, we end up with minus 36 divided by 7 minus 12, which after again simplifying, we get minus 38 minus 84 divided by 7. Therefore, the value of V2 will be equal to minus 120 divided by 7. Ab kyunke hamara motive node 1 और 2 के दरमियान पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस को कैलकुलेट करना है लिहाजा हम उस वोल्टेज को v0 या v आउटपुट से ताबीर करते हैं और उसको इक्वेट करते हैं दोनों नोड्स के ऊपर वोल्टेज जो के हमने कैलकुलेट कर लिया है उसके डिफरेंस से लिहाजा हम लिख सकते हैं v0 is equal to v2 minus v1 V0 is equal to V2 minus V1 is equal to minus 120 divided by 7 plus 12 divided by 7. Or we can write V0 is equal to minus 108 divided by 7. Dear students, now we have calculated the voltage difference between the node 1 and node 2. It will be a good practice if we try to calculate the current flowing through the 6k resistance which is connected between node 1 and node 2. In other words, in later lectures we will call it as a load resistance as well. Don't worry, we will see it in the later lectures.
and it will, it will be clarified. So, if we consider that the current through the 6 kilo ohm resistance is I naught, then we can calculate it very easily. I a ek martaba phir slide par dekhte hain. I naught is equal to minus 120 divided by 7 into 1 divided by 6. That will be equal to minus 120 divided by 42 and that will be equal to 2.85 milliamperes. Aziz Talaba, agli misal mein bhi do current sources ka case diya gaya hai, lekin is misal mein pehle hum kuch resistors ko aapas mein resolve karenge, yani ke unke equivalent ko find out karenge, aur phir jo question mein poocha gaya hai, uske mutabik uski voltage ko mutalika nodes par calculate karenge. Aye circuit ko slide par dekhte hai. In this circuit, we have two current sources and we need to calculate the voltage across 2K resistor or the point A and B. Now, before we start doing any treatment, first of all, we inspect the resistances to know if there are any resistances for which we can resolve the equivalent resistance. Yes, there is one combination present that is on the top there is a 2 kilo ohm resistance and on the right hand side there is another 2 kilo ohm resistance. These 2 kilo ohm resistances they both are in series. Whereas, we want to calculate the voltage across the 2 kilo ohm resistance which is on our right hand side. We will see it later on, but to start with we can see that the two resistances each having 2 kilo ohm value they are in series to each other. Therefore, their equivalent effect will be 4 kilo ohm. Now, we look for the number of nodes. We have two nodes present in there and on top of that there is one reference node. For node 1, we designate the voltage level as V1 and for node 2, once again we designate the voltage level as V2. Now, we consider that all the currents which are unknown to us, they are leaving the node and for the currents which are depicted into the current sources, we leave them as such as they have been given in the example or in the circuit. Therefore, we can write the node equation for the node 1 as V1 divided by 3K plus 4 milliampere plus 2 milliampere plus V1 minus V2 divided by 6 that will be equal to 0. Now, rearranging this equation, we can write 2V1 plus 24 plus 12 plus V1 minus V2 equals to 0. Further simplifying it, we can write 3V1 minus V2 is equal to minus 36. Just like this equation ke final solution mein humne dekha, कि हमारे पास दो वेरिएबल्स आ गए हैं लिहाजा इस इक्वेशन को हम फर्दर रिजॉल्व नहीं कर सकते 
اس کو فردر ریزالو کرنے کے لیے ہم واپس آئیں گے لیکن اس سے پہلے ہم نو ٹو کی اکویشن کو لکھ کر اس کی سچویشن کو دیکھتے ہیں آئیے نو ٹو کے لیے سلائڈ پر چلتے ہیں اینڈ نو ٹو ایٹ نو ٹو وی ٹو ڈیوائڈیڈ بائی فور کے پلس وی ٹو ڈیوائڈیڈ بائی ٹویلو کے مائنس ٹو ملی ایم پی پلس وی ٹو مائنس وی ون ڈیوائڈیڈ بائی سکس کے از ایکول ٹو زیرو ناؤ سمپلیفائنگ ایٹ وی کین رائٹ تھری وی ٹو پلس وی ٹو مائنس ٹوینٹی فور پلس ٹو وی ٹو مائنس ٹو وی ون از ایکول ٹو زیرو سو دیٹ دا فائنل فارم آف دا اکویشن از سکس وی ٹو مائنس ٹو وی ون از ایکول ٹو ٹوینٹی فور Now we have got the two equations. One is 9v2 minus 3v1 is equal to 36. The other is v2 plus 3v1 is equal to minus 36. So if we try to add them up, we get rid of v1 to get v2 is equal to 0. اب کیونکہ ہم نے وولٹیج جو کہ ہمیں ریکوائرڈ ہے اس کو دو کلو اوم کے ریزسٹنس کے اکراس کیلکولیٹ کرنا ہے جبکہ ہم نے نو ٹو کی وولٹیج کو کیلکولیٹ کر لیا ہے لہٰذا نو ٹو کے پیچھے کے سرکٹ کو ہم اگنور کرتے ہوئے یہ کنسیڈر کریں گے کہ جیسے دو سیریز میں لگے ہوئے ریزسٹنس کے وولٹیج ڈیوائڈر والے سرکٹ میں ایک وولٹیج سورس ٹاپ پہ لگا ہوا ہو اس سے ہم وولٹیج ڈیوائڈر رول کو اپلائی کرتے ہوئے ایزیلی ٹو کلو اوم ریزسٹنس کے اکراس وولٹیج کو کیلکولیٹ کر سکتے ہیں جو کہ ہماری ڈیزائرڈ وولٹیج ہوگی آئیے سلائڈ پر دیکھتے ہیں وی ناٹ is equal to 2 divided by 4 into v2 that will be equal to 2 divided by 4 into 0 that will be equal to 0. So we can say that no potential difference between the output terminals A and B is present. We don't know what is the potential which is present in between these two points, but it shows that there is no potential difference. Aziz Talaba, abhi tak hum kuch mushkil aur kuch aasan misalein seek rahe the. Agli misal bhi ek aasan misal hai, jis pe sirf do nodes present hai, yani ek node aur ek reference node, jab ke humare paas دو وولٹیج سورسز دیے گئے ہیں اور ایک کرنٹ جو کہ سرکٹ پر مارک کیا گیا ہے آئی ناٹ اس کو ہم کیلکولیٹ کریں گے آئیے سلائڈ پر دیکھتے ہیں ایٹ نوڈ ون وی ہیو اگین مارکڈ اٹ ایز وی ون دیٹ از دا وولٹیج وچ وی ایکسپیکٹ ول بی پریزنٹ ایٹ نوڈ ون دیر فور رائٹنگ the equation for node 1 we have v1 minus 12 divided by 12k plus v1 divided by 6k plus v1 plus 6 divided by 4k is equal to 0 or v1 minus 12 plus 3v1 plus 18 plus 2v1 is equal to 0 or we can write 6v1 is equal to minus 6 or v1 is equal to minus 1 volt. Now we can make use of this value of v1 to calculate the current which is marked as I0. Therefore we write I0 
is equal to v1 plus 6 divided by 4k because if we see on to the circuit on either side of the 4k resistance we can see that at one end voltage v1 is present and on the other side we can see that a negative reference of 6 volt is present there therefore now instead of writing v1 minus 6 we will write v1 minus minus 6 that is why in the equation we have written i naught is equal to v1 plus 6 divided by 4k that will be equal to minus 1 plus 6 divided by 4k that will be equal to 1.2 milliamperes dear students agli misal mein hum ek thoda sa interesting case dekhenge jisme dekhne ko to teen nodes present hain lekin ek reference node nikalne ke baad hamare paas do nodes bachna chahiye aur hum कोशिश करने लगे कि इन दोनों नोड्स पर वोल्टेज को कैलकुलेट कर सके लेकिन सर्किट को देखकर हमें अपनी स्ट्रेटजी को डेवलप करना पड़ता है क्लियरली हम इसमें देख सकेंगे कि हमें सिर्फ एक नोड पर वोल्टेज को कैलकुलेट करना पड़ेगा इसके बाद क्योंकि दोनों रेजिस्टेंसेस आपस में सीरीज में लगी हुई है लिहाजा हम उसको वोल्टेज डिवाइडर रूल की मदद से एक रेजिस्टेंस के अक्रॉस वोल्टेज को कैलकुलेट कर सकते हैं आइए स्लाइड पर देखते हैं द सर्किट शोज दैट देर आर थ्री नोड्स सो इफ वी कंसिडर वन नोड विच इज एट द बॉटम एज अ रेफरेंस नोड देन वी आर लेफ्ट विद एन अदर टू नोड्स whereas we want to calculate the potential difference across 1k resistance now this 1k resistance and 2k resistance they both are in series and we are interested to calculate the voltage at the junction of these two resistances therefore that is clearly in the form of a voltage divider circuit Hence, we will only write the node equation for the node 1 which is at the top and we will try to calculate the voltage at that node. Therefore, at node 1 we can write V1 plus 6 divided by 6k plus V1 plus 3 divided by 2k plus V1 divided by 3k equals to 0. 6 is equation ki agar aap aakhri term ko dekhe to us mein humne 3 kilo value ka istamal kiya hai. Jabke circuit ko dekhte huye humne 3 kilo ki value koi nazar nahi aati. Ab chunke 2 kilo or 1 kilo aapas mein series mein lagi hui hai. लिहाजा इनमें से सेम करंट पास होगा और हमने इन दोनों के सम को उसके करंट की वैल्यू को कैलकुलेट करने के लिए इस्तेमाल किया है आइए इस इक्वेशन की फर्दर सिंप्लीफिकेशन देखते हैं 6 प्लस वी वन प्लस नाइन प्लस टू वी वन इज इक्वल टू जीरो और 6 वी वन प्लस फिफ्टीन इज इक्वल टू जीरो Therefore, V1 is equal to minus 15 divided by 6 volts. Ab kyunke humne shuru mein aapko bataya tha ke dono resistances voltage divider ki surat mein hai. Lihaza 1 kilo ohm resistance ke across voltage nikalne ke liye hum voltage divider rule ka sahara lete hai. Aayye dekhte hai. V0 is equal to 1 divided by 3 
into minus 15 divided by 6 that will be equal to minus 0 0.85 volts. Agli misal mein hum kisi resistance ke across V0 ki value ko calculate karna sikhenge jab ke hume current ki values unknown ho aur resistance ki values di gai ho. Aye agli misal dekhte hain. In this slide we want to calculate the voltage across the 12 kilo ohm value. On one side of 12 kilo ohm value resistor, there is a 6 volt and also you can see that the given circuit consists of 4 nodes. Aziz Talaba, jaisa ke aapne circuit mein dekha, ye 4 nodes ka circuit hai. Is mein se ek node ko reference node ke taur par हम अलादा कर देते हैं जो के बॉटम में होगा और ऊपर तीन नोड्स बाकी बचेंगे अब क्योंकि हमारी रिक्वायर्ड वोल्टेज उसमें दो नोड्स ही इन्वॉल्व होंगे लिहाजा हम उन्हीं पर कंसंट्रेट करेंगे लेकिन उनमें से भी एक नोड पर एक डीसी बैटरी या डीसी सोर्स directly without any resistance laga hua hai lihaza hame us node par voltage ko calculate karne ki bhi zarurat nahi hai is tarah se hamare paas sirf ek node apne problem ko hal karne ke liye bach jata hai lihaza hum usi ki treatment ko dekhte hain aaiye slide par chalte hain at node 1, we have marked the voltage which we expect at node 1 as V1. Therefore, the node equation for the node 1 can be written as V1 minus 12 divided by 6K plus V1 minus 6 divided by 12k plus v1 divided by 6k is equal to 0. Now rearranging it we can write 5v1 is equal to 30 or we can have v1 is equal to 6 volts. Now because our required voltage is between 6 volt battery positive terminal and the node V1. Therefore, we can write V0 is equal to V1 minus 6. And because we have just calculated the value of V1 as 6 volts, so the voltage across 12 kilo ohm resistance will be 0 volts. Aziz Talaba, thoda sa circuits complicated aana shuru ho gaye hain. Agli misal mein humare paas jo circuit diya gaya hai, us mein current source aur voltage source ke combination ka istamal kiya gaya hai. Jab ke humne ek marked ki gai I0, yani ke current ko calculate karna hai. इस सर्किट में भी चार नोड्स हैं इन चार नोड्स में से एक को हम रेफरेंस नोड के तौर पर कंसीडर कर लेते हैं जबकि हमारे पास तीन नोड्स बाकी बचते हैं इन तीन नोड्स में से भी हम इसको इंस्पेक्ट करेंगे कि आया हमें तीनों नोड्स की इक्वेशन लिखना दरकार है या फिर इससे कम नोड्स पर भी iktafa kiya ja sakta hai aaiye slide par dekhte hain in the circuit the current i not which we want to calculate has been shown that it is flowing through the 12 kilo ohm resistance so it will be sufficient for us 
to deal with the nodes which are on either side of the 12 kilo ohm resistance. Therefore, we mark them as node 1 and node 2. Also, we mark the voltages at these nodes V1 and V2 respectively. Therefore, we start from node 1. At node 1, we can write the equation as V1 plus 6 divided by 12 plus V1 divided by 12 plus V1 minus V2 divided by 12 is equal to 0. Simplifying it, V1 plus 6 plus V1 plus V1 minus V2 is equal to 0. Or we can write 6V1 minus 2V2 is equal to minus 12. That is, we have multiplied the whole equation by a constant 2. At node 2, we can write the equation as V2 minus V1 divided by 12 plus V2 divided by 12 is equal to 2 milliamperes. Or we can write V2 minus V1 plus V2 is equal to 24 or we get 2V2 minus V1 is equal to 24. Now, we bring the two calculated equations to subtract them from each other so that we can get rid of one variable V2 easily. Therefore, after subtraction, we can have 5V1 is equal to 12 or V1 is equal to 12 divided by 5 volts. Now, in order to calculate the voltage at V2, we can go back and put the value of V1 in one of the equations. Therefore, we can write V2 is equal to 3V1 plus 6. That will be equal to, after putting the value of V1, we will have V2 is equal to 3 into 12 by 5 plus 6. Or we can have V2 is equal to 66 divided by 5 volts. Aziz Talaba, ab jab ke humne dono nodes par voltage ki values ko calculate kar liya hai, lihaza ab hum is position mein a gaye hain ke 12 kilo ohm resistance mein se current ki value ko bhi calculate kar sakte hain. Is calculation mein 12 kilo ohm resistance ke ird kir jo do node humne earlier on define kiye the, un par maujood voltage level ka istemal hoga. Aye slide par dekhte hain. Now, for the output current I naught, we can write V1 minus V2 divided by 12. Aziz Talaba, is me aap confused na ho ke V1 minus V2 likhna hai ya V2 minus V1 likhna hai. Is ko aap kisi bhi tarikhe se likh sakte hain. Lekin sirf fark jo padega wo answer pe ek negative sign ki surat mein padega. Jis ko ke hum inspection ke zariye remove kar sakte hain. Aye slide par further treatment dekhte hain. After putting the values for V1 and V2, we can have I0 is equal to 12 by 5 minus 66 divided by 5 whole divided by 12. That will be equal to minus 54 divided by 60. That will be equal to minus 0 0.9 milliamperes example, use nodal analysis to find the value of K that 
will cause v y to be 0. The circuit is shown in this slide. We have to find out the value of the k which is a factor for the voltage dependent voltage source and this value will be such that the voltage at one of the nodes of the circuit will be seen as zero. Before we proceed, we mark our various nodes with respect to various numbers that is we assign them Vx and Vy that is the voltages which will appear at these nodes will be regarded as Vx and Vy whereas the names of the nodes has been declared as X and Y. Now before we start the analysis of this circuit once again we will be writing the nodal equations for each of the nodes. So at node X we can write Vx divided by 4 plus Vx minus Vy divided by 2 because these are the two voltages which may appear across the 2 ohm resistance and when we will be measuring the voltage across the 2 ohm resistance obviously we will be measuring the potential difference at the two nodes x and y. Therefore, in the equation we have written Vx minus Vy whole divided by 2. Plus, we move on to the left hand side of the node x to write Vx minus 6. This 6 is the value of the independent voltage source and because there exists a resistance having a value of 1 ohm in between the node X and the 6 volt source therefore Vx minus 6 is divided by 1 and we equate all these terms to 0 and regard this as equation number 1. Similarly we move at node y and write the nodal equation for this node. We have Vy minus Vx that is starting from the node y we move towards the right hand side of the circuit and because in between the node y and the voltage dependent voltage source there exists a 3 ohm resistance therefore this difference will be divided by 3 plus Vy minus Vx moving on to the left hand side of the node Y we have the voltage at the node X as Vx therefore the difference of the two voltages will be mentioned in the equation and the whole difference will be divided by 2 because there exists a 2 ohm resistance in between the node X and Y is equal to 2 this 2 is due to the presence of the independent current source and because the direction of the current has been mentioned in the question as approaching the node Y therefore we have written it onto the other side of the equation. Now our additional constraint is that Vy is equal to 0 therefore by putting Vy is equal to 0 we can simplify equation 1 and 2. Hence, we can write for equation number 1 as 14 Vx is equal to 48, whereas for 
equation number 2 we can write minus 2 k v x minus 3 v x equals 12. Now, solving these two equations we can proceed since equation 1 yields v x is equal to 48 divided by 14 that will be equal to 3.429 volts. Therefore, using this value we can also find that v x is equal to 12 plus 3 v x divided by minus 2 v x that will be equal to minus 3.250 volts. That's another similar but a bit more complicated example we want to solve in sequence to the to our previous example. For the given circuit use nodal analysis to find I5. Now looking upon this circuit we can see that no nodal definitions has been provided. Therefore, we can define our own nodes. Hence, starting from the left hand side of the circuit, the middle node between the 1 ohm and 2 ohm resistance has been defined as node number 1 and respectively the voltage at this node has been considered as V1. The top whole node has been considered as node 2 and subsequently the voltage at this node is considered as V2. The node between the junction of 3 ohm, 5 ohm, 7 ohm and independent current source having a value of 3 ampere has been defined as node 3 and it is supposed that it is having a voltage value of V3 at this node. Similarly, at the junction of the resistances having values 4, 6 and 7 ohms, the node has been defined as node number 4 and respectively the value at this node has been considered as V4. Now, we take up each node one by one and write the nodal equation and according to our standard procedure once we write the nodal equations for all these four nodes we will see how many unknown quantities are there and then accordingly we will simplify each of these equations and once we simplify these equations then there will be a step to solve these equations simultaneously so that we can find out various values. Now in order to find the value of I5 we will need the value of the voltage at the node number 3 because the I5 which has been asked us has been marked next to the node number 3 and with the help of the value of V3 applying Ohm's law it will be very easy to find the value of I5. Therefore, we start writing nodal equations from node 1 to node 4. Taking up the node number 1, we have the nodal equation as minus 3 is equal to V1 divided by 2 plus V1 minus V2 divided by 1. Taking up the node number 2, we have the equation as 2 is equal to V2 minus V1 divided by 1 plus V2 minus V3 divided by 3 plus V2 minus V4 divided by 4 and we regard this as equation number 2. Moving to node number 3, we have 
3 is equal to V3 divided by 5 plus V3 minus V4 divided by 7 plus V3 minus V2 divided by 3 and we regard this equation as equation number 3. And finally, the last and final node, node number 4, we have the equation for it as 0 is equal to V4 divided by 6 plus V4 minus V3 divided by 7 plus V4 minus V2 divided by 4. And we regard this equation as equation number 4. Rearranging all these four equations and grouping terms, we can have all these equations respectively as 3v1 minus 2v2 is equal to minus 6 for equation number 1. For equation number 2, minus 12v1 plus 19v2 minus 4v3 minus 3v4 is equal to 24. For equation number 3, we will be having minus 35 V2 plus 71 V3 minus 15 V4 equals 315. And finally, for the equation number 4, we will be having minus 42 V2 minus 24 V3 plus 94 V 4 equals 0. Solving these equations simultaneously, we find the value for V3 as 6.760 volts. Therefore, using this value and the value of the 5 ohm resistance through which the current I5 has been asked and making use of Ohm's law, we can find out the value of I5 that will be equal to I5 equals V3 divided by 5 that will be equal to 1.352 amperes. Jaisa ki aapne dekha ke current ki value joh humne calculate ki hai wo negative I hai. Is ka matlab ye hua ke current ki direction joh ke question mein dikhai gai thi in fact करंट की फ्लो उसके अपोजिट है अजीज तलबा उम्मीद है आप कंफ्यूज नहीं हो रहे होंगे और बिल्कुल आहिस्ता आहिस्ता मेरे साथ इसको समझने की कोशिश में लगे हुए होंगे मजीद मिसालें आप किताब में देखकर उनको सॉल्व कर सकते हैं आज के लेक्चर में हमने देखा कि किस तरह से थोड़े पेचीदा सर्किट्स में जिनमें दोनों वोल्टेज सोर्सेस या एक करंट सोर्स एक वोल्टेज सोर्स दिया गया हो उनको किस तरह से डील किया जा सकता है इनमें हमने मजीद देखा कि किस तरह से अपने मतलब की नोट्स को कारामद लाया जा सकता है जबकि दूसरी नोट्स पर हमेशा वोल्टेज को कैलकुलेट करने की जरूरत नहीं होती है इलावा जी हमने ये भी देखा कि जब करंट को कैलकुलेट करना होता है तो लाजिमन हमें उससे पहले नोड वोल्टेज को कैलकुलेट करना पड़ता है अगले लेक्चर में हम इसकी मजीद एक या दो और मिसालें देखेंगे उसके बाद हमारा एक नया टॉपिक शुरू होगा जो कि कर्क ऑफ करंट ला से ही मुतलिक है लेकिन उसमें सुपर नोड का कॉन्सेप्ट आता है सुपर नोड को इस तरह से समझ लीजिए कि जब दो रेजिस्टेंसेस पैरेलल में जुड़ी हुई हों तो उनके दरमियान अगर कोई सोर्स इंसर्ट हो जाए तो हम उसको सादा तरीके से हल कर नहीं पाते लिहाजा हमें सुपर नोड टेक्निक का सहारा लेना पड़ता है अगले लेक्चर में हम इस सुपर नोड से मुतलिक बात करेंगे आज के लेक्चर का वक्त खत्म हुआ अगले लेक्चर तक के लिए 
اجازت دیجیے خدا حافظ